through committee stages in the House and the third reading. David Shearer. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, the Labor Party is proud to support this, this bill. Uh, we are wanting to support this because actually we started the, uh, the, the process by, to actually bring about these uh, marine reserves. Um, and it's not about lovins or anything like that. As uh, Mr Heatley seems to suggest, we started this in 2006 and 2007. And as he said, uh, it has sat there in language for some time. Uh, since he was Minister of Fisheries and now he's no longer Minister of Fisheries and it still goes on and yet here we are at the second reading. It is, however, good that we are able to progress this this evening um, and it is something I believe that all New Zealanders will be very pleased to see. Uh, it will extend that protection out much further. Right now the terrestrial uh, elements of those islands are under protection but not actually the, the sea around them and that will enable this pristine um, and very biologically both diverse and precious area to be protected uh, properly and, and fully. Um, and this is something that uh, the Labor Party in general is supporting, the concept of marine reserves. Uh, it is Labor Party policy to extend the protections of marine reserves to about 30 per cent um, of the uh, area under our, our uh, jurisdiction by the year 2020. Uh, that is something that we want to move on. Um, it is something that uh, I would encourage the National Party to actually put in their manifesto as well, because we've made a good start in being bipartisan on this particular issue, and it would actually be rather good for it to be taken further along. Um, so these, these uh, islands, as, I, as I've said, and as everybody knows and has been said before, um, have extraordinary uh, biological significance, but they also, as a result of that, have some economic significance in the form of tourism. And we are seeing uh, more boats uh, going down to these areas uh, so that people are able to uh, take a look for themselves and actually experience the diversity that is there too. So while some, there has been some talk about the, uh, the economic cost, there is also a, a huge economic benefit. And that contributed, uh, will also contribute to New Zealand's standing internationally uh, in terms of our ability to have uh, islands of, of such significance uh, uh, available. Um, as I said, sir, New, uh, the Labor Party is very proud and pleased to be able to support this bill. Um, and it also, I think, adjusts or rebalances some of the, uh, the policies that have been that have come before uh, international for anyway uh, on the, by the government, by this government, that have been less uh, significant and certainly more embarrassing to, the, uh, to, to our country. Um, I'm talking, sir, of the debacle over the Ross Sea and trying to get an agreement that was actually, uh, we could have had an agreement with the United States in, in the, over the Ross Sea and lost that opportunity and lost the opportunity to protect that area for the sake of, I think, around about a $20 million fishing industry. Uh, which wouldn't have been closed out completely, but certainly would have been affected. And when we balance that up against the hundreds of millions of dollars that we get uh, in benefit as a result of the, our reputation and also as a uh, gateway to the Antarctic that the United States is using, uh, I think that was an enormous, enormously missed opportunity to, uh, to actually put some sort of credentials down there as well. The other um, area, of course, uh, that is we have been less illustrious on, as of course, is the protection of the Maui and the Hector Dolphins. Um, we were one of two countries who actually opposed the, uh, went against the uh, international agreement to protect these uh, very precious uh, mammals, uh, the most endangered species of, uh, of dolphin in the world. Um, and on a personal note, I remember uh, some years ago, being out surfing off, off the coast of uh, the west coast on uh, O'Neill's Beach, uh, paddling out there, and uh, some of the surfers around me called out, uh, shark, shark, and uh, swung their boards around and uh, took a wave in to get away from what they thought was a shark. So I was a little more slow off the mark, unfortunately. I'm not quite as quick as some of those guys. Um, but had the opportunity of seeing two of the, these enchanted 
dolphins uh, swim around me uh, in, within 10 metres of me and, and, uh, and, and disappear. So uh, being slow off the mark in that particular case was, uh, was, was to my advantage. So I was actually just able to see these uh, dolphins in the wild up close. Um, and those small round fins and the way that they were able to move through the water uh, may, certainly made me feel very, uh, very privileged not only to see them but also uh, pretty determined to make sure that these dolphins actually survive. And if we were ever to lose uh, these dolphins as a result of the policies that we were about to implement and the fact that we are unable and unwilling to sign up to an international protection against these dolphins, I think it would be an absolute, an abso an absolute uh, travesty, uh, Mr Speaker. So, Mr Speaker, uh, I am very pleased to uh, once again to be here to uh, provide support and, uh, as the Labor Party, as a speaker of the Labor Party, to, to ensure that these islands in the south of New Zealand uh, do actually get protection. They were uh, awarded in 1998 world heritage status and the marine reserves and the prohibitions on Danish, per, Danish purseining uh, combined with the existing Fisheries Act and regulation, its pr pr uh, prohibitions on bottom trawling um, and dredging will provide those marine protected areas the wider area of territorial sea of New Zealand, sub-Antarctic sub islands, the sort of protection that they are going to need. Uh, there will be some uh, impact on commercial fisheries. I note that uh, some of the ling fisheries will be uh, extended, but from the, uh, certainly from the impact statement that I've, I've seen and read, the, lot, the, uh, the way that these ling are, are, are taken has a very small bycatch, uh, and as a result of that, the phasing out of that over the next five years will be, uh, will be welcome. Uh, but obviously up to review at the end of that time. As of course uh, this, uh, this legislation will also be up for review uh, within the course of the five years. Um, that is a, a good initiative. I think it needs to be uh, done between, the, uh, between five years and seven years and that will ensure that our, uh, the, the fisheries are well reviewed to ensure that the marine reserve, this reserve act, as I'm sure it will go through Parliament, is uh, working as to the way that we would like it to, um, and ensure that uh, the protections are being afforded as uh, we would like them to be. Uh, so, sir, it is um, with uh, some, certainly with, uh, with pride that we are able today to come together with the government, and I believe all parties in the Parliament, to protect an area which uh, will serve New Zealand well in terms of its reputation. Um, it will serve those marine ecosystems well in terms of the unique fauna and flora that is found in those sub-Antarctic islands that have been compared to the, the Galapagos Islands, for example, as I say, that have been awarded uh, world heritage status. Um, and that will also enable us, sir, to, um, to further develop the tourism potential um, in, uh, in those places and ensure that there is some economic benefit that comes back to us that can be put back into ensuring that these islands are, are well and truly protected. Um, and sir, is, so it's with those, uh, those few words that I uh, would like to conclude my, my comments today um, and to once again ensure that Labor will uh, be supporting this bill uh, in its entirety. Thank you very much. Gareth Hughes. Uh, kia ora, Mr Speaker. Nā mihi nui kia koutou. Kia ora.